Live. The news on NBC6 starts now. Hey, welcome back. Look at that. Isn't that a mood, right? Parents, caretakers, are you tired? Tired of feeling tired and feeling like you're getting close to the parenting burnout? Folks, I'm with you. And I'm pretty sure that we're not the only ones, right, who feel like we're running on empty, right? Well, it's time to fuel up. Laundry, dinner, lunch, wait, homework, stop. Checking all the boxes. I know, it's not easy. There's moments, Dr. Dare, where I'm like, feel like I'm about to lose it. And we joke about it, right? There's memes about moms and stuff like that on social media, but that feeling can be dark and it can be heavy. It's very intense and it shows up for our kids. It's like we have this super person costume on that's so transparent. We think that it's shielding so that kids can't really understand or get what we're thinking and feeling, but they see right through it. Dr. Dara De Leon, clinical psychologist, says if you're not in control of your emotions, your kids will see that. And that just makes it even harder to connect with them, no matter their age. One of the things I think is really important is as a parent to do things in short increments because us super parents do everything all at once. And we have this gigantic laundry list. And then we feel unsuccessful because we're trying to take on too much at one time. And then none of our attention is going to our children. So it could be really helpful if you're just doing one task and then checking in with them. Invite your kids to take part in the tasks at home. I know it can get frustrating when you're pressed for time, but it can help them understand the value of what we do and balance. Then you say, you know, what is normal? What is balance? Um, so the thought of taking it step by step and one thing at a time to eventually give yourself the yeah. grace and eventually check off all the items. Yeah, and give yourself a reward in between. You know, just like you do with kids, if you're saying, okay, I want you to do your schoolwork, let's do it for 10 minutes, and then I'll give you five minutes of video time. It definitely works like that for the little inner child in our parental units, <laughs> where if we're doing a task, do it, and then retreat back or give yourself that space and then go back to it. Oftentimes it means take care of yourself so that you're in the right place to take care of your family. Yeah, I think it's a misconception um, being a parent that if you're taking care of yourself, the perspective is of being selfish and actually being selfless is of value to your family because it's selfish to just be worried about everybody else. Our kids can feel our energy in two seconds and we want to model that to them. So I think there is this part as parents that we have to sacrifice who we are and what we want, but we're actually doing a disservice. And to me, that's, um, that's selfish because then there, our families are not getting the best of us. So being selfish is selfless. So give yourself a break and listen to this, Carlos. This applies to everything, everyone, I should say. Dr. DeLeon says we should ourselves a lot. I shouldn't do this. I shouldn't do that. Give yourself the grace. Be cautiously optimistic. Remember, you're not alone. Give yourself a break and maybe it's okay to like give in and like let your kids of watch course, TV for five you? extra minutes and give them the tablet. Take a breath and pick your battle. So there you go. Have some fun too. My, my question is what's the reward? the uh, parental reward it may come in a glass okay maybe I you know yeah. <laughs> a book netflix show right a and beverage beverage that's not bad of your choosing